one layer of novelac I am writing here CH2 CH2 again CH2 here this is combining with here I am writing one more layer of a novelac like this OH two different layers combined together and you will get a cross linked polymer linking between two different layers which is called Bakelite. Normally you will not be asked to draw the structure of Bakelite, you will be asked what are the monomers of Bakelite, monomers are phenol and a formaldehyde, this first step if you are able to write that is ok. This is what is Bakelite structure, last one in this category is rubbers. Natural rubber you are familiar with, natural rubber is isoprene, natural rubber, the monomer is isoprene, CH2 double bond, C, CH3, CH double bond CH2, I can write it in a cis and trans form, when it has to polymerize like how we have seen in 1,3-butadiene this bond will be breaking, this bond will be breaking, I will show you that, CH2, C, CH3, CH, CH2, this bond broken, this double bond is broken, again this is broken, this is broken, if we combine these two carbons, this bond is combining, so that you will get a valency this end and this end. So I can write it, this is a double bond between these two. So, I can write it in a cis form as well as trans form, as you know what are cis and trans forms. If both the similar groups are in the same side, I am writing the CH3 here, CH2 with valency here, the CH3 and CH2 with valency. This hydrogen I am writing here, the CH2 with valency I am writing here. Similar groups are in the same side, if there is a doubly bonded compound or triply bonded compound, especially we say doubly bonded compound, triply it is not possible doubly bonded compound, if the similar groups are in the same side, we call it as cis isomer. If the similar groups are in the opposite side, we call it as trans isomer. Natural rubber is a cis polymer in the sense polymer of cis isoprene. It combines, how it combines? This N molecule combines as I have shown you here. This bond will be shifted to the middle, these two ends will be vacant. So, I can write N it polymerizes CH2, C, CH3, double bond CH, CH2, N times. This is polyisoprene, natural rubber is polyisoprene. Now two more species, synthetic rubber, Buna S and Buna N are there. Buna, butadiene, styrene, it combines, you will get, see, the name it indicates Buna S, Bu means butadiene, S means styrene, Na means in presence of sodium. Butadiene, 1,3-butadiene you are familiar, CH single bond, CH double bond, CH2. Styrene also you are familiar, C6H5CH double bond, CH2. This also you are familiar, here the same way it polymerizes. This bond will be breaking, this bond also will be breaking. Here one valency, here one valency, all the carbons will be holding valency. These two will combine, here there will be a double bond. There is a vacancy here, there is a valency here, I mean. This bond also will break, here one valency, here one valency. This will combine and you will get a species. This takes place in presence of sodium. CH2, CH double bond CH, CH2. CH, CH2, here you will have your C6H5. This n times we can write, pardon, it will be here. If we take n molecules of butadiene, n molecules of styrene, you will get buna S, butadiene combined with the styrene, 
in presence of sodium to get bunyas. Rubbers same way buna N is also there. We have buna N that is the last polymer in this which you have to study. You have seen buna N, another synthetic polymer is, I mean buna S you have seen, another synthetic polymer which you have to see is buna N which is a copolymer of 1,3-butadiene and vinyl cyanide. This is 1,3-butadiene and this molecule is vinyl cyanide. So when we combine it, as I have told you, always butadiene, these two bonds will be broken, these also will be broken, means this double bond, one bond will be broken, this also will be broken. There will be a bond established between these two carbon, here there will be a valency, here there will be a valency. As you, have, you can see, up to here, you can make it out. These two bonds are broken, this carbon combined valency combined with this valency, there is a valency created in this carbon as well as that carbon. This combined with this one where this bond is broken, here one valency, here one valency, it combines so that you can see a bigger molecule, this is called buna N. Here it was butadiene and styrene in buna S, here it is butadiene and vinyl cyanide. Now the, this is also one of the most very important question in examination. Uh, now the mo major problem what we are facing is degradation of plastics. The earth surface, so many places it is covered with the plastics which cannot be degraded. The fertility of the soil is being lost. So the biodegradable polymers comes, the role is very important in that case. PHBV, this can be degraded by a bacteria when it goes to the to earth, PHBV, poly beta hydroxy butyrate, co beta hydroxy valerate. Its full form is poly beta hydroxy butyrate, co beta hydroxy valerate. Monomer is 3 hydroxy butanoic acid. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4. Butanoic acid, third position, there is a hydroxyl group. 3 hydroxy butanoic acid. This is actually this molecule it is. CH3, CHOH, CH2, COH, 3 hydroxy butanoic acid plus 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. In the sense, this is butanoic acid, pentanoic acid is this. Usme 3 hydroxy, 1, 2, 3. Here it is hydroxy group. 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. This acid group means this acid entity combined with this alcoholic entity to form acid and alcohol combined together to form an ester. So instead of showing like this OH combined with this H, we have shown it like the CH3, CHOH, CH2, COH. This OH entity combined with the third pentanoic acid, third carbon, there is an OH group, that H and this OH is eliminated. So that here, instead of writing this, I am writing OH, CH, CH3, CH2, CO, O, because H2O is eliminated, CH, C2H5, CH2, COOH. If I write, I have to write COOH. If I take n more species of this and n species of this, then of course, this is an alcoholic entity, H will be removed. This is an acidic entity, OH will be removed. So I have to write it n times. This is PHBV, this is a biodegradable polymer. Monomer, if it is asked, what is a monomer? 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. Next, the biodegradable polymer, which is nylon 2 and nylon 6, glycine and amino caproic acid, these are the monomers. This is glycine molecule NH2, CH2, COH. First, amino acid, which you have studied. This is amino caproic acid, NH2, CH2, 5 times COH. These two combine, again, same condensation, OH and H will be replaced you will be getting the polymer nylon to nylon 6. From here, all the polymers and its monomers finished. Now, one small content I have to tell you about the board questions, various addition and condensation polymers, whatever we have studied, I, we, I have summarized here. You can go through. This is a very important board question. Maybe you are sure showed 3 marks. Monomer, 
and polymer. Normally, the name of the monomer and its structure is being asked. It is tabulated here. You can go through from one by one everything we have studied. And another co other column also you can go through. All the polymers are being listed. Biodegradable polymers and Buna N, I did not write here. You have to go through the textbook content and write the monomer plus the name add in this chart. Along with this you have to add the left out polymers whatever we have studied. Go through the textbook backside exercise also.